Hey y'all, it's Stacy with southernbite.com. Today we're in the kitchen making a southern favorite fried green tomatoes and we're gonna pair these with my remoulade sauce. So we're gonna start there. In a medium sized bowl, we're gonna combine half a cup of mayonnaise with half a cup of sour cream. To this, we're going to add two tablespoons of ketchup and two tablespoons of Creole mustard. And if you can't get your hands on Creole mustard, a spicy brown mustard will work just as well. To this, we're going to add a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one clove of garlic that's been finely minced. I've got two teaspoons of horseradish and about a half a teaspoon of Creole seasoning. seasoning. Now, you can add more or less of that Creole seasoning depending on the particular brand that you use. Mix it all together and give it a taste and then you can adjust the seasoning appropriately. Just keep in mind, as this sits, the flavors are gonna develop a little bit more and you're gonna taste that garlic more as it sits. So, prepare that, set it aside, and let's get started with our tomatoes. To start, I've gone ahead and sliced three large green tomatoes pretty thinly, about a quarter of an inch. Now, one of the things that always happens with tomatoes is there's tons of water inside of them. And if we fry these just the way that they are, once they're fried, that moisture is gonna come back out and you're gonna end up with a soggy tomato. So to combat that, what we've done is we've sprinkled the, each side of these green tomatoes with a little salt and put it in the sink in a colander to allow that salt to wick some of that moisture out. That helps in the process so that we don't end up with those soggy tomatoes. I've also blotted these with a little paper towel just to make sure that we've removed all of the excess moisture. As we move over here to our breading station, I've got half a cup of buttermilk with one egg. We're just gonna dip each slice right into this mixture. This is gonna help our dredge stick. In here, I've got three quarters of a cup of plain cornmeal with about a half a cup of all-purpose flour, in addition to half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Here in my skillet, I've poured about an inch of oil in here and I've heated this over medium-high heat to about 350 degrees. We wanna make sure to never fill a skillet like this more than about a third of the way up with vegetable oil so that we don't have an issue with it bubbling over. If this is the right temperature and you can see that it is, you're starting to see those bubbles. We're gonna fry these for four to five minutes on each side and then drain them on paper towels. All right, so you can see these are perfectly golden brown. They've been in here about a total of 10 minutes, five minutes on each side, and they're perfect. We're gonna remove them from our grease. We'll work in batches to get them all fried up and we'll serve these with that remoulade that we made earlier. Y'all, this is such a classic Southern recipe. Your family's gonna love these. Remember that you can get this recipe and hundreds more on my website at southernbite.com. Y'all enjoy. When I think of fried green tomatoes, I can't help but think of the book written by Alabama native Fanny Flagg and the movie that it inspired. It was based on the Irondale Cafe, which is still open today and fries 60 to 70 pounds of green tomatoes every day. That's a lot of maters. And fried green tomatoes are hard to beat. If you'd like to make them at your house, you'll find Stacy's recipe at southernbite.com under the Simply Southern TV link at the top of the page. And thanks to Sweet Grown Alabama for sponsoring today's cooking segment. Hey, we gotta run, but before we go, I wanna invite you back next week for a really unique experience. We'll take you to the only place in Alabama where you can go fly fishing year round. And our summer intern Maggie Edwards will introduce us to a couple of cattlemen who are educating the public about farm life, one YouTube video at a time. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. We'll see you next week. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.